Is that tarragon I taste? Yes, chef. And a dash of cinnamon. Jenny, don't deviate from the recipe of my signature dish. Should I toss it? I didn't say it's bad, merely impertinent. Sorry, chef. Must you always be so clumsy? Must you always be so mean? It's my signature mood. And it's his first day on the job. You know what bothers me? Tarragon. Funny. Your need to always do the right thing. Now, less drama and more dicing. Party starts in two hours. Chop, chop! Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Here we are. Ah, Mrs. Danbar, you look stunning. And what a beautiful home you have. Jenny Finley, is that you? Ashley? Hi. Hi, yeah, we, um, we actually went to school together. Oh, how nice for you. I always wondered what happened to you. Um, my mom actually got sick, so I, I had to quit school and go to work. So you're a caterer now? I hope to become a chef and open my own restaurant one day. Well, are you married? Not yet, but I have a wonderful boyfriend, Daryl. We're practically engaged. I'm sure he's gonna propose any day now. Well, what's the hold up? Nothing says commitment like Tiffany's. Jenny. <clears throat> Jenny. What? Garnish. Right. Is that a new dress? You said this was a special occasion? Very special. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to remember this moment forever. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have great news. I got a new job. Gentrotech, they're this really hot new biotech company and they're going global. They're sending me to Singapore next week. I can't even believe it. <sighs> Neither can I. <laughs> and then Stockholm, Madrid, everywhere I've always wanted to go. Wow. Hmm. Daryl, that's just, that's great. <sighs> but, uh, what about us? Uh, hey, our relationship can withstand some time apart. I, I thought you were gonna propose, but. Uh, Jenny, I, I love you, you know that. I'm not sure that's enough. I don't want to lose you. I... There's no right or wrong here, Daryl, but we want different things. Are you breaking up with me? You're on your way to Singapore, and I want to pick a fence. Geographically, we're out of sync. This dress cost a fortune, so uh, I'm ordering the lobster. Hello? Is this Jennifer Ann Finley? Yes. I've been trying to track you down. You know what, if this is about the car loan, I have already paid it in full. It's about your inheritance. You've inherited a house in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. I don't understand. Someone left me their house. The owner of the property was Emily Adams. She left it to her cousin Madge, who is your mother's aunt. Now, it's somewhat complicated. What do you mean? I'll tell you what. Why don't you just come down to my office in Harrisburg, and I'll explain the details. OK. <laughs> I found this picture of my mom when she was a little girl. I remember her saying she spent a summer in Bucks County. It, is this the house? I believe so. Yes. Uh, the um, owner of the house, Emily Adams, died in a nursing home four months ago. A will was found, which dates back to 1965. She named two beneficiaries, her cousin Madge and the caretaker who looked after the property. Both are deceased, so I've tracked down the heirs. I can't believe I have a house. Am I dreaming? I mean, is this, is this really happening? As far as I know. This is a brand new beginning for me. 
I do hope Mr. Howell has remembered our appointment. Who? We don't close this deal by the end of the week, thank you. And it's gonna go to Goldman. Look, I gotta clean that, okay? Right, bye. Hi. Welcome. Pleasure. Pleasure. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. This is Jennifer Finley, the other owner of the house. Uh, please. Mr. Howell is descended from Emily's caretaker. You two are not related to each other, but you each own half the house. Great. We can split the profits. I mean, what's the property worth and how quickly can we sell? I have no intention of selling my home. I want to keep the house. Can't sell half a house. Why don't you drive down to Bucks County and take a look at the property? Maybe you can come to some kind of an agreement. Fine, we'll do that now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just slow down here. I don't have that kind of time. I don't even have a car. I came in on a train. Uh... I have a car. And if you're in that much of a hurry, we better get going. Thank you. You think you could speed it up a little bit? Ah, oh, it's so picturesque. Ooh, look at that cornfield. I mean, it goes on for days. Right, amazing corn. Yeah, it's a commodity that's way overpriced. What good is making money if not to buy something beautiful? You already have beautiful. It's right outside your window. Are you always like this? Maple Lane. Uh, it's two miles due east of here. Thank you. Thanks. You let your wife do the driving? Oh, no, no. We're not married. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, he's adorable. Perfect. It's a wreck. <sighs> Should have brought gloves and a hand sanitizer. <coughs> Isn't this charming? Yeah, if you're into doilies. Okay, look, I, listen. I don't trust stairs, I can hear. I could actually taste the dust. A four poster bed! A man can only take so much lace. <coughs> oh. I mean, this is just so spacious and, and homey. Yeah, you know, all you see are the silver linings. And all you see are the problems. Well. Oh, wait, wait. Because this house has tons of problems. <laughs> Whoa, oh. back up, back up. That's a goat. That's uh, very chivalrous, but I think we'll survive. She won't hurt you. What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what if it bites? Silver linings are friendly. Hey, what's that? <coughs> you all right? What's that? You all right? Yeah, I know. Apparently, I'm allergic to goat. This house gets better and better. <sighs> oh, come on. Come on. <sighs> This is just a lovely room. Yeah. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? I can't get cell phone reception for the life of me. I just feel like I belong here, you know? That's great. I belong in New York. I'm late for a meeting. Well, what are we going to do about the house? Are you kidding me? We're going to sell it. No. No, no, no. Please, please. OK. What do you suggest? What if I buy you out? OK, not now, but eventually. You see, I have this dream of opening a restaurant, so I, I could revise that dream and I could turn this place into a bed and breakfast. <laughs> well, I hope your breakfasts are great, because this house is the pits. Look, I know you think I'm nuts, but this just feels like home. Please? Fine. <sighs> I'm sure you look a lot better in lace than I will. Okay. Can we please go? Yes, yes, let's go. <laughs> so we have a deal? Yeah, we have a deal. <sighs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Hurry up, it's not brain surgery. Yes, chef. You're late, hang up your coat and grab an apron. No, chef. Chop the radicchio. You chop the radicchio, chef. Well, as you can see, I'm busy with the main course. Your mustard crusted salmon is dry. This kind of attitude. 
And I will not tolerate you. I quit. I quit. I quit. Wait! What is it? You want to raise? No. I'm moving to Bucks County and I'm opening a bed and breakfast. It's not exactly a restaurant. That's close enough. And you know what? Some B&Bs are actually known for their food. A restaurant you can sleep in. How quaint. Why are you always so hard on me? Because I know how talented you are, Jenny. And I only want the best for you. Oh, you could have said that a long time ago. No one ever said it to me. Well, they should have. Well, it's about time you had your own kitchen. Chef. That is a terrible thing to do. What is? Make me miss you. Okay. Get out of here. Back to work! <laughs> well, I wish I spoke goat. Well, you certainly have a lot to say, huh? I think I'll call you Gabby. Okay? <sighs> Welcome home. <gasps> I would scream if I wasn't so tired. Dear Emily, wishing you my very best on this special day. Lester? Who is Lester? I wish I had known you. We have a visitor. I'm Alice. I live down the road. Oh, on that beautiful farm? It's a lot of work, but it's worth the effort. This is for you. Thank you. <laughs> what smells so good? Where did you learn to cook like this? <laughs> my dad died when I was a kid, so my mother had to work full time. I would do all the cooking. Mm. I would make these elaborate concoctions and she would pretend to love them. I don't think she was pretending. Do you have any family around here? No, I lost my mom a few years ago. Is there a fellow you have your eye on? There was, yes, but it, uh, it didn't work out. Did you know Emily? Not very well. She kept to herself. I found a card from someone named Lester. You, you know who he was? Not a clue. Maybe he was a boyfriend. I got the impression Emily was alone. I don't like to use the term spinster, but that's what they called her. Hmm. Well, my plan is to open a B&B, &B, so I started experimenting with breakfast foods. I suspect you'll do well. <laughs> Thank you. If I can ever get the house fixed up. I was hoping to sell croissants and scones to the local restaurants just to make a little extra cash, but I can't even get an appointment. My niece works at the coffee shop. Let me see what I can do. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I'm from the city. I'm not used to neighbors being friends. I always thought they were the same thing. You can do this. Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. <gasps> Croissants aren't really our thing, but we could give it a try. Yes. Oh, I haven't seen him before. Yeah. <sighs> there are no available men in this town. If they have a paycheck and a pulse, they're already taken. Mm. Yeah, I had a boyfriend. You know, Daryl seemed perfect on paper. He was smart, he was attractive. I kind of thought he was the one. I don't mean to pry, but what happened? <laughs> I wanted more and he wasn't ready. Hmm. Yeah, I miss him sometimes. Or what we might have been, you know? I wish I had someone I could miss. Maybe you should call him. You think? Ugh. What do I know? 
I'm so happy you called. You are? Yeah, I just got back from Thailand and no one speaks English there. Oh, I bet that was interesting. Yeah, I've seen the world on Jinjo Tech's dime. Uh, but how are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I, you know, I think I, um, I, I can't find my truffle cutter. Your what? Uh, you know, truffles, they're those, um... The, the mushrooms that I used in the tortellini I made for your birthday. <laughs> Yeah, I think maybe I left it in your kitchen. I haven't seen it, but I'll look around. All right, thanks. You know what, I, I should go, but um, let me know if you find it. Okay. Okay, thanks, bye. 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 I took a cab from the station. I tried not to wake you, but I didn't have a key. So. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? I'm moving in. Oh. You cannot just show up like this. We had a deal. That was before my life blew up. You were looking at a fall guy on a botched merger. Okay, I don't even know what that means. It means that my legendary boss just blew a business deal and I got blamed. And I was fired on the spot just like that before I even knew what hit me. That, that must have been very hard. And now look at me. I'm persona non grata on Wall Street. Listen. I'm sorry that you're having a tough time, but you are not grata here. Jenny, I have no place to go. All right? And my stocks are tied up in a bonus I, I'm never going to see. Did you know? that I only have $2,643 in my savings account? I used to blow that on a suit. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. I don't drink them. Dulls the mind. I, just, I haven't slept. I'm just so tired. What about your friends and family? <laughs> if I had another place to go, Jenny, I wouldn't be here. Okay, you cannot move in here because we don't even know each other. What are you talking about? It's temporary. And temporary is too long. Oh, you know what? I own half this house, okay? So why don't you stay on your half and I'll stay on my half, right? You know what? I don't mean to be rude, but mm. we don't exactly get along. <laughs> we'll just avoid each other. Avoid each other? What about the kitchen? It's mutual territory, right? We both got to eat. What about the bedrooms? Not a problem. And you can have my half of the goat. Like uh, croissants. Actually, you sell them in town. Well, I slept pretty well, considering. Considering what? Well, considering the hooting owls and the crickets. It's actually quite peaceful here. No, no, I'll give you that. It's peaceful. I can't get cell phone reception. Yeah, I was just wondering, maybe we could share your landline. 
I'm gonna need a phone, obviously, to find a job. Uh huh. That's fine. What do we have here? These are peach and cranberry tarts. Mm. I'm experimenting with breakfast for the B and B. Do you want one? Oh, I mean, I, you know, at the risk of encouraging your B and B fantasy, I don't mind if I do. What do you mean fantasy? Well, I'm still planning on selling the place. <laughs> oh man, those are good. What did you expect? I'm a chef. Mm. Mm -hmm. I and mean, you're also really good at taking a compliment. You know, I thought we were just gonna avoid each other. Okay, that works for me. <sighs> Woo. Good stuff. I can't wait to see what lunch is gonna be like. <sighs> okay. Hello? Harry! Hey! How's it going, buddy? It's Brian. Uh, look. You're gonna have to stop calling me. Okay, Harry, listen, did you get any of my emails? Look, buddy, I know your value, but the truth is, right now, you're just damaged goods. How can you say that to me, Harry? You know me, all right? I've done nothing wrong. That's completely unfair. Since when do fair and high finance relate? I'm gonna have to run. Market's about to open. Harry, please, just give me a... So I, uh, I'm taking that was your legendary boss. No, that wasn't. That was, uh, that was Harry. He works at another firm. We went to Wharton together. Obviously, it was a friendly competition throughout our careers, but now he's on fire and I can't get a job, so. Oh, great, yeah. It's the first time in 12 years that the uh, stock market's open and I haven't been a part of it. I'm sorry, that must be rough. Yeah, um, listen, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna go for a run because I want to burn off some of this angst. I really need to polish the hardwood floors. Would you mind moving your stuff to the porch? Sure. Why not? I mean, let's be honest. The stuff's become pretty irrelevant anyway. Are you... Thank you. No problem. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, hey, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 hey, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. No, 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 that's fine, that's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Gabby. Go, go, go oh, eating my girl. resumes, come on. <laughs> Come here, Gabby. Gabby? Yeah, that's what I named her. A girl with horns. That's, wow. Look at this, see this? Look at this. Come here, Gabby. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, no, you've had enough. You're, you're full. Come on, Gabby. <laughs> you find that funny? Oh, Gabby, yes. No, see this? Look at this. You didn't even bother to read it. How rude is that? I work around the clock. I feel like the clock has stopped. I don't even know how to slow down. <clears throat> that is as murky as my future. Maybe we should, uh, I don't know. Maybe we should call a plumber? That's a good idea. You should do that. Uh Is it bad? Yep. How bad? About $5,000. Oh. Five? Are you kidding me? Nope. $5,000? I don't have that kind of money to put into plumbing. Especially plumbing I never wanted in the first place. What do we... Oh, oh, I forgot. We can't sell half a house, right? <laughs> this place is not me. I belong in Wall Street, not Main Street. Do you know what happens when I have a problem in my place with my plumbing? I call a super. Do you understand that? Nope. It's a good shout. We should do this more often. Are you done? Oh. Oh. What is this? Okay, this is disgusting. We have no water. I can't cook in here. We have to do something. My, my, my silver linings are drowning in the kitchen sink. All right, just relax for a second. Great, now I sound like you. Calm down. <sighs> Maybe I can try to fix the plumbing myself. I mean, I got an MBA from Wharton. How hard can it be, right? I don't think those skills are actually applicable in this situation. You have a better idea? First thing in the morning, I'll go to the general store. Well, how are you gonna get there? I need my car tomorrow. Oh, 
How about that old pickup truck? That doesn't even run. I've been meaning to have it hauled off. You do realize I own half that truck, right? You gave me Gabby. You can have the entire truck. Oh, come on. Please. Yes! Woohoo! That a girl. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. All right. Go. You got it. No, 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 no. Sorry I'm late. I had to use Alice's kitchen because this is the third day in a row I haven't had running water. Can I get one of those? Yep. Hank's your biggest fan. Mm. Oh. I can't get enough of these uh, croissants. You mean the Hank special? Give me a couple for the road. Okay, you just made my day. Complete engine overhaul. The whole enchilada. Come on, man. I can barely afford a tank of gas. Well, I'd settle for your watch to get you running. Yeah, it's like unbelievable. Done. Right out. How do I look? Like an affluent mechanic. Cool. That thing looks as worn out as me. Yeah, I uh, used to take limos. I used to be taller. Wow. <laughs> okay, let me guess. You're not just the plumber. Nope. You also happen to own the general store. Yep. Okay, this whole monosyllabic response thing is not going to suffice. Perhaps you could say a little more. Perhaps you could say a little less. Fair enough. What can I help you with? Well, I'm planning on doing the plumbing myself. Mm, couldn't reach the super. You'll have to replace some pipes. I don't know a wrench for my elbow. Wrench doesn't bend. Anyway, Tommy, thank you. Ah, no, no, anytime. Kind of breaks up the monotony of the day. I appreciate it. I'll see you soon. He's a duck out of water. The ducks learn to fly. I mean, there are regulations when you open a B and B in a. Functioning kitchen is kind of at the top of the list. Well, maybe we should sell our dysfunctional kitchen. When will the water be back on? Uh, you know, I don't know, sometime next year. Go on. I dare you. Turn the water on. Hmm. How about that? Your plumbing is so musical. I figured you could sing along while doing the dishes. So I finally got the braided flex line to connect to the angle stop. A city boy who speaks plumbing. Well, it's plum or parish, right? Isn't that what you said? 
Besides, I gotta get this house fixed up, man. And Jenny, she wants to turn it into a and b and buy me out. Which is fine, but I mean, I've gotta turn this lemon into some cash, quick. You know, listen, we agreed to paint the house, right? Can't agree on the color. As a matter of fact, we can't agree on anything. She wants to paint the house yellow, Tommy. I would prefer something simpler, like maybe a subtle blue. There you go. The croissants are selling really well. Great, I just, I could really use the money. You know what, I was thinking, it might help build my reputation. Because there's just so many B&Bs in Bucks County, but they don't all have a professional chef. So, um, Tommy just gave me a bunch of color samples. Mmm, yeah, we're gonna paint the house, but uh, we can't agree on a color. Mm. You know what, which one do you prefer? Oh. Uh, phonetically chipper yellow. Versus subtle blue. Uh, a very drab and depressing washed out blue. Uh, why don't you combine the two colors and paint it green? Hmm. Miss Color of Money. Let's hope it's a good omen. It's true. You know, but I mean like a, a pale green. You know, or like a, a seafoam mint. Something that doesn't compete with the color of the trees. Right, of course, yeah. yeah. Non competitive seafoam mint. I'll see if he has that color. Great. Okay. Okay. You two make a very cute couple. No. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not a couple. No, he's hopefully uh, getting a job and moving back to New York. Hmm. Careful what you wish for. See you later. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You. You know, compromise is a... It's a very pretty color. Mm hmm I'm glad we can agree. It's a great color. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I just bought this shirt. Sorry, what? I think you missed a spot. Oh, really? Is that, you're gonna do that? Yeah. I'm on a dangerous match, just okay? Check this out. Oh, really? What are you gonna do about that? Oh. I even got some skin. Okay. Yeah, you know what? What? It's on. Is it on? Well, let me tell you something. You know what's on? on? Oh, you know what's on? Let me tell you You're silly content. It drives me insane. Yeah. Get out. I'm allergic to white! Uh, I don't know what you're talking about! I'm a realist! You know that? I'm a realist! I know this! Are the green? Pale green face! Oh, dude. If you look pop, that is green! Right in your face! I win! Okay, 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 okay. The sector is burning up. You gotta trust me on this, alright? There's a play to be made. I get it. Thanks for the tip. Hey, I gotta run off to a meeting. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, Harry, I heard that um, there might be an opening at JP. Uh, in your dreams, but I will let you know if anything real comes up. Look. What was that? Gabby! Knock it off, sweetie. Who's Gabby? Uh, that would be the goat. There's a goat you know well enough to name? Yeah. We gotta get you back to New York City. So, what, what, hello? All right. Fantastic. Well, I thought it was going fairly well until, of course, Gabby intervened. How is your friend Harry? He likes to think that he's the big shot in our relationship. But I am twice the plumber he'll ever be, right? <laughs> he must be a really bad plumber. Oh, let me tell you, he's the worst in Wall Street. <laughs> <laughs> This is starting to look like the kitchen in my head. Yeah, it's starting to look good. Oh, it really does. Sherry amaretto scones, you want one? Are you kidding me? Pass this up, they smell incredible. I want to sell them at the coffee shop. I mean, I've got to make more money. I've gone through half my savings and there's still so much to do in the house. You know what you got to do? You got to think bigger. Just slap a label on these and uh, go out there and start to attract some vendors. Well, a label requires a name. Let me tell you think that's a little much for something that's homemade. No, not at all. Call it what it is. Jenny's homemade. Or what about Jenny's homemade breakfast? That way it ties in the B&B. &B. I love it. I think it's perfect. You see, all you have to do is go to all the stores in neighboring towns, 
rack up some numbers, and I promise you, you will attract a distributor. Simple. You know, maybe that MBA wasn't a total waste. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I hope not. It was very expensive. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm, I'm not a salesman. Listen to me, okay? You don't take no for an answer. You just double down and make it happen. All right? Okay. You're gonna do great. Uh, hold on. Just, um... Forget everything I just said, right? Just be yourself. All right? All right. Thank you. Come again. I, I'm not into French pastry. What about Irish? I do scones. Hey, do you have any foie gras? We got chopped liver. If you could just try a sample. Not gonna happen. I sold Avon to put myself through college. Hmm. This is really good. Thank you. Let's get some. Done. How much are they? Is she your shill? She's my new best friend. All right, I'll try some of your fancy pastries. Do you make blinces? I do now. I'll take a dozen of each and see what sells. Pick up on sticks! You know, I'm opening a B and B. If you're ever in Danfield, right pieces on me. Thank you. Thank you. Good news, I got four new customers. One more stop and I'll be home. <laughs> That's great. You did good, I'm proud of you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. That's really weird. So, I've been experimenting with grapes. I've gained five pounds since you moved in. <laughs> you know, I was hoping I could pick some of your blueberries because fresh makes all the difference. You can pick them by the bushel if I can have more of these grapes. You really should try our scones, Alice. They're amazing. You know what? They're selling really well. Mm -hmm. Brian looks as pleased as you do. Well, my road trip was his idea. It's nice to see a young couple pulling for each other. Oh, we're, 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 we're just friends. <laughs> Can I get you some more coffee? Sure. Great. Your preserves are delicious. A singing sink. You, you should, should hear, hear the, the toilet. toilet. Uh, after breakfast, we can pick berries. Maybe I'll work off a crepe or two. <laughs> Hello. Jenny there? Um, no. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Brian. Who are you? Daryl. Okay, Daryl, or are you a customer? No, I'm calling about the truffle cutter. Sorry, the what? When will Jenny be home? Like, uh, like maybe in an hour or so. Would you like me to leave her a message, or? Just tell her to call me. Okay. Uh, listen, you uh, got a phone call today from some guy named Daryl. What do you say? Uh, something about a ruffle cutter. <laughs> it's a truffle. It's a fancy mushroom. What else did he say? Just see, he wanted you to call him. Hello. Hey. I couldn't find your truffle cutter. Oh, that's okay. It... Who's the guy who answered the phone? Oh, that's, that's Brian. He owns half the house. He lives there. We're not involved. It's just a real estate thing. Just a real estate thing. I think about you all the time. I miss you, Jenny. I miss you, too. Right. 
You know, I have to be honest with you, it's looking pretty nice in here, actually. It's very bed and breakfasty. Yeah. What are you doing? What's wrong? I think the window is stuck. Step aside. Time for a man to take care of this. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I've mastered plumbing. I think it's time for me to take a hard look at carpentry. Oh, I'm so sorry. What are you apologizing to the window pane for? I'm the one who just blew out a disc. Because I feel really bad for it. Okay. You know, people can sit on the porch and watch the sunset. Yeah. That'd be nice. Oh, with that railing, it isn't very steady. I don't think it'll ever pass an inspection. What are you talking about? What inspection? To open a B and B, you have to have an inspection. Yet another reason why we should sell this place. No, it's a reason to fix it. You know what? I don't want to argue with you. It's a beautiful day. Hey, can you do me a favor? Stop. Let's just, hmm? can, can you keep this still? Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay, hold on. Okay. Almost got it. Hold on. Oh, that's just, oh, that's fantastic. Good job. Hey, Skippy, how are you? To be honest with you, I don't think carpentry's my thing. Don't get defeated by a stubborn window. Furniture polish, then use a putty knife. Okay, is there anything you don't know how to do? Not when it comes to a house. People are harder to figure out. Women, for instance, they are a mystery. Yeah. Yeah, no, they... So how's that pretty mystery, Jenny? Yeah, she, she, Jenny's, you know, she's, uh... I think you have a little crush. It's complicated. I think she has a boyfriend. What makes you say that? Well, a couple days ago, some guy called, and she seemed, uh, happy to hear from him. It was a phone call, not a wedding. You know, tell her how you feel. I don't know how I feel. Well, figure it out before it's too late. Thanks, Tommy. See you soon. He's still a duck out of water. He's testing his wings. <laughs> yeah. I think I want to get some planners for the porch. Sure. I'm sure it'll look gorgeous. You know, I gotta be honest with you, I think these posts are like 100 years old, because... Are you okay? Oh, I think I sprained myself. Oh! Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fine. I think I just think I sprained something. Oh, rubbing my ego. This isn't over, you and I. Oh, you think it's funny, huh? <laughs> like, Sorry. It's like in my nightmares. <laughs> Finally, sturdy as a rock and perfectly symmetrical too. I mean, that is if you move your head like that. Yep, that's the prettiest railing I've ever seen. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, no, it's not bad. <sighs> Emily sat on this same swing, and she looked at those same stars. Yeah, unfortunately, stars are hard to see at night in the city. You've changed. Really? <laughs> Is that a good thing? You tell me. <sighs> Maybe so. So, I've sent every resume to everybody I know on Wall Street. I'm not even a nibble. Not one. Well, except for Gabby. Oh. oh. Did you see that? All right. It's time for a little carpentry. I'm going to go get my trusty saw. I am so sorry. Please be careful. I'll be fine. I'm actually more worried about the table. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm afraid.
way that carpentry may not be my calling. I don't mind the wobble. Really? Well, unfortunately, I have tossed in my pinstripe suit for a toolbox and another one of the fits. Well, the toolbox gives you that rugged repairman look. Just don't open it. <laughs> All right, let me try this one more time, okay? Whoa, just hold steady. Let me um, try it one more time. Come on! If it gets any lower, we're going to have to sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will admit, I'm having a very good time. And uh, I didn't know I would ever know how to do that. So thank you. Sure. Gabby, come on. Take it easy, it's just a car. Hey, is Jenny here? You must be Daryl. Brian? Hey, nice to finally hey. meet you. Oh, um, sorry about that, bud. Here, just use that. Is, uh, is Jenny expecting you? I was gonna surprise her. Hey! Look who, uh, who's here? Hi! It's so good to see you, I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get it. No, just... After you. Hi! <laughs> oh, come on in. Okay. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I brought you something. I finally found it. This is so sweet, but this isn't my truffle cutter. I wanted an excuse to see you, so I bought you a new one. Daryl, you didn't need an excuse. Look, I'll be honest. When I heard another man answering the phone, uh, I was jealous. <laughs> Brian? Uh, he's a handyman by trade? When he's not working on Wall Street. Hm. And there's nothing between you guys? Just the house. Separate bedrooms? Separate everything. We split the house in half. <laughs> uh, well, he seems like a nice enough guy. Yeah, he's become a good friend. Hmm. Well, it's, uh... It's nice. I'll call you. I'd like that. <sighs> oh, he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he said the same thing about you. Really? Yeah. So what is he, your boyfriend or something? He was, but he got this new job and travels so much. I moved here, so I don't really know what we are anymore. Turns out that Daryl is her ex-boyfriend. Except he doesn't seem so ex to me. I've got an ex-wife, Gloria. I ain't over her and it's been three years. Right, anyway, he just shows up unannounced in his Brooks Brothers suit and his BMW. Has he no decency? Gloria got the house, the dog, the big screen TV. I mean, the only thing she didn't get was me. Uh. So Daryl goes over to Jenny and says, you know, he's a nice guy. He's nice. But we both know that what that is. It's code for boring. Could be code for talks too much. Look, tell me, what does he have that I don't have? Money? Car? Job? The way I see it, you got two choices. Oh, this should be good. Lighten us, Rusty. Marry this girl. Right now. Just hit her with the ring. Rusty, we haven't even kissed. Well, that's why she thinks you're boring. It's complicated. Are you Amish or something? What was the other choice? I forget. Just give me a minute. <sighs> nope. <laughs> it's gone. Man, that was a good one, too. How do you know if you can't remember it? Well, now you sound like Gloria. She was meaner than a snake, but that girl could cook. <clears throat> Jenny is an incredible cook. You better get a prenup. Hey, hey, I'm kind of worried. What's wrong? I, I can't find Gabby anywhere. Well, I mean, sometimes she follows me when I go for my run. I mean, maybe she went on her own. Will you help me look? Absolutely. Let's try the trail. Come on. Gabby? Gabby, where are you? Gabby! 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 How'd I get 
get so attached to a goat. <laughs> Gabby! Hey. Hey, girl. Is she hurt? You okay? What's hey. wrong? Huh? What's wrong with her? I have no idea. She's been like this for hours. Yeah, there's obviously something terribly wrong. There's no need for concern. Just let nature take its course. What do you mean? Well, she's about to have kids. That's what they call baby goats. What? She's, she's pregnant? And the kids usually arrive in pairs. We're gonna have twins? <laughs> what? Oh, did you hear that, huh? Oh, did you hear that? I can see she's in good hands. You're gonna be a mama. <laughs> What should we name the kids? Oh, uh, how is Bonnie and Clyde? Oh, no. No, oh, they're too cute for a life of crime. <laughs> <laughs> they need something more cheerful, like, uh... Oh, like Lucy and Ricky. Lucy and Ricky. Yeah? Okay, I like that. <sighs> what do you say? We show Lucy and Ricky the great outdoors. Huh? You go outside? You go outside? Yeah. <laughs> Is that Lucy or Ricky? That would be Lucy. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> oh, I am so tired. Why don't you go and get some sleep? You should too. I will. But first, I'm going to put him in the barn. Oh. I got you. I got you. That a girl. Come on. Yeah. I like him, too. <laughs> the inspection for the B&B &B is in three weeks, and this kitchen is a wreck. You know what I was thinking? Hmm. What if we turn that storage closet into a pantry? Sure, yeah, we could do that. I should go check on the kids. Yeah, actually, I think it's some more sandpaper, so. Go ahead. No. After you. So I'm gonna go uh, fix the light on the porch so we can see the kids at night, okay? I'd rather just imagine them. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> hey, I heard that. Good. This resort is amazing. Good. Considering I made it in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, you should definitely open up a restaurant. I am. It's called a B&B. &B. Yeah, but you shouldn't limit yourself just to breakfast. Think bigger. Bed and a breakfast and dinner. So B and B and D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I love cooking. I mean, I always have since I was a kid. Mm. I was always into investing as a kid. Boring, I know. Other kids are out playing hide and seek and I was locked in my room playing stocks and bonds. <laughs> Dad was a broker, so I learned the language from him. But it didn't last that long. I mean, he took off when I was pretty young. And Mom ended up remarrying another suit. And they shipped me off to prep school and then, of course, Wall Street. And never looked back. And then a house in Bucks County came along? Yeah, I gotta tell you, that really threw me off course. <laughs> you sorry about that? Not tonight. Furniture polish and a putty knife. Well done. <clears throat> oh, at the risk of 
the house burning down. Um, do you think that maybe you could get the wood stove going? Of course. I mean, you can't have a and b and d without a wood stove, right? Oh, and some electricity would be nice. Of course. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Really good time. Yeah, I did too. Dinner was uh, fantastic. I'm glad. Uh, well, good night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. You too. Okay. Thanks. raining in your room? Yeah, you? Yeah, mine too. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on the bar and check on the kids, make sure they're all right. Are you okay? I'm fine. You'd see it's all right. I have a, a meeting with the distributor. Oh, that's good. Uh, listen, Jenny, I wanted to uh, talk to you about last night. I, Do you mind if I, we talk when I get back? Just, I, I'm really late. I have so many deliveries. Sure. Yeah, no, we'll talk later. Okay. We'll talk when we get back. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll help you. Oh. You in? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Brian, I got some really big news. Are you sitting down? I got a promotion, and they left a vacuum in the department, and I pitched them on you. So what are you saying here? Is this a job offer? I'd be your boss, but it's okay. It's offset by the bonus and the perks. Brian, I told you to sit down. Did you pass out? No, um, thank you, Harry. That's better. But I'm gonna have to think about it. What is there to think about? It would be really hard for me to leave Jenny. The girl that came with the house? Yeah, the girl that came with... Well, it's not just about her, or maybe it is. I, I don't... Look. I like who I am here, Harry. Well, now you're scaring me. I'm scaring myself. Can I ask you something? Do you ever think that there's things out there that are far more important than just making money? <laughs> I went out on a limb for you. And I understand that, and I appreciate that. Well, understand that I'm gonna need an answer by the end of the day. Hello? Hi, it's me. Daryl? I'm in my car. I need to see you right away. I can be there in an hour. Well, I have a delivery at the coffee shop. Meet me there. Hey, what happened to that pickup truck of yours? Um, uh, it wouldn't start. <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> yeah. I finally got a uh, job offer out of New York. That's what I thought I wanted. Then what's the problem? This phone with my lifeline in the stock market. Now look at it. Those are my kids. I could see the resemblance. <laughs> I like it here. I'm happy. 
Nothing on Wall Street will even compare to Jenny. Nothing. Sounds to me like you want to stay. Thinking about it, big fella. Thinking about it. Well, it'll be nine bucks for the drill bit. Two cents for the advice. Worth every penny. Thanks, my friend. Good luck. Have a good one. Yeah, I always do. I wonder what he meant. You sure I can't get you anything else? No, I, I've already eaten. Daryl, do you want something? No, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm sorry for just showing up like this, but I... I really needed to see you before I lost my nerve. Okay. I love you, Jenny. I think I'm ready to settle down. Wait, are, are you proposing? Will you marry me? I don't have a ring yet. Daryl. That's Darryl. okay, that's okay. It's okay, we, we can pick one out together. Daryl. I can't marry you. Why not? Because Brian is starting to matter to me. I thought you guys were just friends. We were. I don't know what happened, but things... things have changed. Uh, I'll quit my job. Whatever it takes to win you back. Daryl, I care about you, and I always will, but... I just don't think we're meant to be. how lucky he is. You can do this. I'm so sorry I'm late. You're right on time. We'd like to test homemade in some of our regional outlets. If that goes well, we'll distribute your product in some of the larger markets. You'll need an online presence. We'll handle all the mechanics, website and so forth. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... This meeting is going quite well. well the first of many, I suspect. This is the call I've been waiting for. Hello? Okay, here I am in. How was your meeting? Are you leaving? Yeah, no, I'm leaving. I don't understand. Where, where, where are you going? Well, Harry uh, came through for me big time. Got me a job offer out of New York. So, he wants me there right away. Oh, I... I mean, I wish you the best. I... I really do, but... I'm just taking my surprise, that's all. It's a great opportunity, what can I say? Were you even going to say goodbye? 
I've been waiting around all day, Jenny. I really couldn't wait anymore. Anyway, look, um, I'm gonna be uh, staying at Harry's until I get settled. So what I'll do is I'll call you when I figure out where I'm gonna land, okay? Okay. So, I guess this is it. Um, take care of yourself. You too. All right. is an asparagus parmesan souffle. Oh. I'm trying to experiment with recipes. What do you guys think of that one? I think I'm going to gain another five pounds. <laughs> is this table for kids? <laughs> yeah, Brian was a lousy carpenter. I miss him. You know, I thought I was in love with Daryl, but I think I love the idea of him. I didn't know the difference until I met Brian. Brian made me laugh. Jenny, you're the prettiest girl in the county. You'll find someone else. Oh, now you're sweet. Right now, I'm just focused on opening the b, &B. The house looks beautiful. Mm. Thanks. There's still so much to do, though, and the inspection is next week. Look at all you've accomplished. In such a short time, I couldn't be more proud of you if you were my daughter. Oh. My boss is about to retire. Maybe I should try and buy the coffee shop. <gasps> yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Tired of waiting around for a man I might never meet. I'm gonna make my own happily ever after. I'll drink to that. Oh, uh, hello. You inspired me. Cheers. All right. Look, All right, send those numbers. Todd, don't. Okay, fine. No, no, listen, listen, Todd, listen to me. This is not a pitch. It's a promise. Now, this is a startup company primed for a takeover. Okay. What we're gonna do? Listen, we're gonna jump in with both feet. Not a boy, Todd. You will not be sorry. All right, I'll call you later. You're really back on your game. Yeah. Let me take you to lunch. Uh, no. Care to elaborate? I'm easily offended. I've got a lot of work to do, Harry. You always say that. Isn't that why I'm here? To work? Come on, you do lunches, I'll do deals. You're not fun anymore. Was I fun before? Not really. So why are you so surprised? <laughs> Besides, it was fun once. I used to make Jenny laugh all the time. Hey. What? Get your head out of the sticks. This is the big city. Mm. We have girls here. She is out there right now buying shoes she can't afford and hoping she doesn't turn into her mother. Yeah. Well, my girl is in Bucks County. Insects or vermin? Not a single one. <laughs> that fridge is very small. You should get one that's more energy efficient, preferably from this century. Yes, sir. Absolutely. You're not going to salute, are you? This is just an inspection. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whatever you say. You seem a little nervous. This B&B is really important to me, and I I'm hoping to open in a couple weeks. Mm. Oh, you know, the sink sounds really funny, but it's totally fine. Is that a violation? Only if it's off key. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I drink it every day, and I am great. It runs clear, drainage is OK. Temperature is fine. Would you 
like something to eat. Is that a bribe? You could eat the evidence. The ovens is really good. Do I pass? If you replace the fridge. Yes, of course. I. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No hugging. Okay. But it will take a little more of the caramel evidence. Mmm. You got any coffee? Hi. Oh. Do you happen to know when the general store is going to open again? It depends on the fish. Um, well, do you know where I could go buy curtain rods? Uh, 12 mile due east of here. OK, and yeah. uh, what about geraniums? You know, <laughs> that's about eight miles due west. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Uh, what, uh, what happened to that young guy who used to come around? Oh, he went back to New York. Some ducks were never meant to fly. Guess not. Uh, curtain rods and flowers, huh? You fixing up the house? I am actually planning to open a bed and breakfast. Well, uh, Emily would have liked that. All those people around the house. But you knew Emily? Since we were kids. What was she like? Uh, Emily was a gentle soul. She was very shy. Did you happen to know a guy named Lester? Lester was my older brother. Were he and Emily friends? They were sweethearts. Nobody knew it but me. Did they break up? I mean, what happened? Lester died during the war. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, they had to keep their romance secret. Uh, they were both very young, and her daddy was, uh, was real strict. <laughs> when Lester died, Emily had to hide her grief. It, it, she kept it inside, and it, it, it festered there. Her broken heart turned to stone. Poor Emily. Mm. Better to have loved and lost, I suppose. You know, it's sad when people who ought to be together ain't together. And Brian will handle all the details. He's incredibly thorough. And I am passionate about this acquisition, gentlemen. You'll have access to me 24 hours a day, around the clock. Uh, my apologies, guys. Let me just turn off my phone. Hey, hey, can you just hold on a minute? Sure. All right, thanks. Excuse me. Can you hear me? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I, uh, I had to get back into my office. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. No, 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 you kidding me? No, nothing at all. How are Gabby and the twins? They're good. It's great. I miss them. They miss you too. <laughs> Listen, I'll, um, I want to tell you why I'm calling. Yeah, yeah, Jenny, I'm just, to be honest, I'm just happy to hear your voice. Premium Natural Foods has given me an advance, and I think it's enough to buy you out if I can do it in installments. Uh, yeah, great. I, I've, I've spoken with some local real estate agents to find out exactly what the house is worth. You know, whatever you think is fair is, is fine. Okay, great. So I gather things are going well then. Uh, yeah. How, how are you liking being back on Wall Street? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm hitting my stride. <laughs> it's great. You know, I was thinking about, I was, when do you plan on opening up the B and B and D? Uh, this weekend, actually, it's, it's just, um, it's just a trial run, though, mostly friends. Good for you. I have an idea. Um, 
Why don't I drive up tomorrow and I'll sign all the necessary paperwork? I'm in no hurry. That's okay. Look, I mean, tomorrow's my day off. You take Fridays off? What can I say? I miss the kids. So I'll see you tomorrow? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Tomorrow it is. Bye, Jenny. in for work early. Actually, uh, I'm not going to be in today, Harry. Uh, actually, that's not okay. I have to see a girl about a house. No, 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 listen, no way. Listen, listen, everything that we needed to close this deal is sitting on my desk, and you know it. Look, she's buying me out. Come on, Harry, I may never see this girl again. <sighs> Harry, come on. Haven't you ever been in love? Huh? Take my car. Go see her. Get her out of your system. Thanks, Harry. I'll take another hang special. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Casey. Oh, hello. How have you been? Like you care. Uh, thanks. What'll it be? Oh, uh, just a cup of coffee would be great. Got here a little early, just trying to kill some time. So. I don't need your life story, just your order. All right, well, Casey, what's wrong? Men. Okay, men. Um, all of them or just me? Jenny turns down her old boyfriend when he proposes because, because she's falling in love with you. And then you just go off on your merry way and you leave her behind. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure. And how do you know? Because I was standing right there when it happened. It was at this table, Brian. For what? A $20 tip for a cup of coffee? No. You're making me the happiest man in the world. Excuse me, excuse me. Go figure. I figure he's in love. I'm back, Abby! Too much paper? Yeah, you do. That a girl. Hi. You're a little early. We said 10 o'clock. Well, actually, I'm not early at all. It's almost too late. Too late for what? Casey told me that um, Daryl proposed to you, and you turned him down. That's right. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hi. Now you do. I missed you, Jenny. I want to come home. You know, that's the first time you ever called this house your home. It's the first time I've ever called anywhere home. <laughs> hey, hey, look who's back. Look who's back. <laughs> oh, kisses. Aww. Are they growing? <laughs> would you like to try my fig and olive tepana? Oh, indeed I would. Mm. 
Mm. Is that tarragon I taste? Yes. Your little restaurant with beds just may succeed. <laughs> Thank you. And she's pretty and she can cook. Might be time to pop the question. <laughs> Why are you still standing here? Get over there and close the deal for once. Thanks for coming, Aaron. Hey, it's good to get out of the city for a few hours. Every few years. Exactly. <sighs> this is it. I think Emily would have liked this. I think Emily would have loved it. <laughs> yes. Marry me, Jenny. So I can make you laugh the rest of my life. Nothing would make me happier. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Doesn't get more romantic than that. Now that's what I call a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> You're all invited to the wedding. Well, I know a good caterer. Your duck finally flew home. I guess he did. They divided the house in two. You only had to look at them to know that wouldn't last. <laughs> his half and her half and now we're one that's sweet delicious i mean the couple oh that too yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs>